All right, this next video we're going to go over uh, coiling cables or sort of cable management. Uh, I have three sort of varieties, right, the IEC, uh, just some heavy uh, Edison, and then XLR. Um, each of these I'm going to coil in a different way, or manage in a different way. So, right, say this is plugged into something, you're ready to strike. Uh, and you only do uh, this method with this cable, nothing else. Alright, so you fold it in half, stretch it out, fold it in half again, right? Take it, cross it over, right? And then take this side and fold it in. So you get this little, this little bundle right here, right? Do it one more time, take it, cross, and then when you're done, right, it goes in the appropriate bin. Uh, if you don't do this, right, and you're a little shit, then you just take the cable and just do that, I'm gonna fail you. And everyone else is gonna fail you. Alright? Don't don't be like the people who do that. Do do the right thing. It's not it's not that complicated. Alright, moving on. So I got this. Uh, this is I think 50 feet of Edison. It's probably a good 15 pounds. But let's see. Get it all thrown out, all right? So now it's time uh, to coil it. Uh, this method I'm gonna do is called over over, all right? There's two methods: over over and over under, all right? Um, and typically, like in my opinion, over over is you know good for uh, like power cables. Over under is good for uh, like signal and data, right? So when I say signal and data, I mean more like XLR, DMX, Category 5. When I say power, I mean like Edison, Stage Pin, um, Speak On. So you take it, faces away from you, and you just make a series of about maybe 18 inches, 20 inches this way of just rings. Now, I don't know if you saw my hand, but, you know, depending on how the cable sort of sits, you know, you gotta twist it. So, if I'm bringing this in, you know, this sort of has a natural uh, sort of flow to it already, but if you need to sort of straighten it out better, uh, you twist it a little bit. All right. And you make make sure to keep that the same, like keep it consistent. So you just do that. All right, here's a good example. So I gotta sort of twist it, right, or wring it out to get it to lay sort of straight. All right. Sometimes, you know, you sort of twirl it like that. Um, Cause like no matter no matter what cable you're coiling, it's gonna have uh, what's called memory, right? The natural uh, sort of twist of the cable itself, right? So you just keep doing that. Now you can kind of imagine, I mean, this is just one 50-foot cable, but, like, it's, you know, it's got some weight to it, it's got some, some heft, so this is, like, a 
a pretty good workout. All right, once you're done, all right, most people put it between their legs. Do you take your tie line, right? Just a little half loop or half hitch, and then the bunny ears, done. Just like that. Here we have uh, XLR. Now if this is coiled perfectly, uh, you should be able to take the cable and throw it. So I just threw that cable and there's not a single twist or anything. So whoever coiled this actually did the right thing, right? So it was a little bit tricky, not gonna lie. But once you like, once you get it, um, it like it flows naturally. Like you know, if you do it like say a dozen times, by the time you do it on the thirteenth, it's just like instinct. So you take the connector; it sort of uh, faces your direction, right? In the other one, we sort of did it away. I find it easier to do it towards you. And you s make those about the same size loop. Now, to do, you know, this is the over part, right? So if I kept doing that, right, twisting it and making a circle, that'd be the over over. But we're doing over under. So you're asking, what the hell is an under? So you take it, you make the first one, which is the over. And then, right, thumb down, you take the cable, right, and you sort of spin it like that, and that's the under. So over, under, over, under. So if I take this, throw it out, perfect. Maybe not perfect, but good enough, good enough. So I'll do that again. Right, over. Now just like watch my right hand, right? It's sort of, you know, I'm going on, you know, this this side, right? Making it's a little bit odd, um, but hopefully you get it. And I'll play I'll play a couple different videos uh, from like different people explaining it, different perspectives. So over, under, All right? Same thing. Once you're done, uh, usually you put it between your legs, tie it up, and then it goes right on the rack. All right, so over under, and then over over. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing. Say for example, uh, you're working with, you know, this cable, but like say twice the length, right? Say 100 feet, or 75 feet, or if you're working with, you know, molt, or if you're working with uh, something bigger. Right. Um, one common thing to do is to uh, coil it on the floor. Right. So instead of holding, you know, 30, 50 pounds of cable, and don't get me wrong, like doing it, you know, on the floor is still, it's still a workout. Uh, usually you have somebody. Uh, like helping you, right? So somebody like feeding you the cable while you coil. But just sort of doing that. All right. So when you coil on the floor, you know, you as the coiler, right? So one stage hand is in a stationary position, and then somebody's sort of 
guiding the cable in your direction, say, from the generator. So now you make, you make your first loop. Now keep in mind, right, when you're coiling cables, if you make the loop, right, if you make the coil uh, too small, then you're just going to sit there all day coiling it, right? If the cable, you know, if the coil is a little bit bigger, it's less, uh, less cycles, right? That doesn't mean make the, you know, make the coil, you know, huge, but just keep that in mind. You want to, you know, keep it about like 18, 18 inches uh, for bigger cable, you know, about two, you know, 20 to 24 inches, right? But somebody's, say, for example, feeding me the cable, I'm twisting it or whatever, going like that, straining it out every once in a while. Going like that. And you just want to, you know, it should, it should flow naturally. All right, sometimes you got to give it a, give it a twist. And this is, like, you only do it this way, right? This would be like over, over. This would be the equivalent of over, over. Uh, when there's no power running through it. If there's power running through it and you need to sort of uh, coil up some excess, then you actually need to do over under while it's laying down. Uh, the reason being is if you just do over over and create like a complete loop, um, you're creating like a magnetic field. But when you do over under, it sort of like uh, negates it, right? Because it's like in opposite directions. So yeah, so when you're done, you lift up one, tie it up, pick up the whole thing, and then throw it in the bin, right? And that goes for a uh, bigger cable. I'll tie that up. But yeah, same thing could apply to, you know, these, these cables. So yeah. That's uh, that's pretty much that. For you know, for sort of odds and ends, you know, for like little stuff like this, these are just sort of like random connectors. You know, just try to keep it neat. Sometimes you'll put a little tie line there, but as long as it's sort of uh, neat in the bin, then you're good. Sometimes you might sort of twist it like that a little bit. But yeah, you just want to keep, you just want to put it back in a way where it, you know, makes sense and that it's, you know, easy for the next person, right? Like this is, this is pathetic, right? And if you, like, if you're sort of, you know, needing a cable and you see it, like, if you see the problem, just sort of pick up a few, fix it, put it on the other side, right? You, you, want, you want everything to be relatively organized, relatively uh, neat. I mean, power strips are a little bit different, but sometimes you'll see that. Sometimes, uh, you know, if these, are, if these tails are longer, be coiled up. And then you might, you know, tie like that. Uh, sometimes you might try to like get it to lay flatter. Right? Tie it that way. But yeah, you just wanna do do whatever you can to uh, make it neat. Make it organized. And always, um, you know, always check, right? So if you're working for a specific venue or a specific company, ask them how they prefer the cables. Um, some companies prefer things done a certain way, so you just want to double check. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs>